Okay, fireside chat. <clears throat> so my fears for 2015 is that, in essence, to enable a draft without declaring it a draft, and there's reasons for it, which I will get to. <laughs> What's going to happen is that the military is going to actively recruit upwards of 40,000 young adults who have inquired into two military services or more. Maybe just even one in inquiry was enough. But if they inquired... Like they're comparing the Marines to the Army, you know, or the Air Force to the Navy, kind of deal. <clears throat> then um, they will get actively recruited into one or the other. So this is going to justify this large expenditure <laughs> of recruitment money to recruiters, and. Uh, and I think the reason to do that is that, one, it's going to indoctrinate a whole bunch of young people. And I would think that perhaps at this point, military indoctrination is maybe a little bit different than what it was 40 years ago or 80 years ago. Um, and the other thing that he's going to do is he's going to do a pullout from somewhere creating a whole bunch of dope sick people who are going to need to be on Obamacare because he's going to pull out of, I would guess, Afghanistan. Completely pull out. And with that, he's going to have a whole bunch of vets returning. Well, he needs a place for these uh, PTSD dudes, these shell-shocked, that's the word, shell-shocked dudes, are going to need to go and work. And so he's going to call for an increase in uh, police, um, like riot police. You know, like every county now needs to have a, a better than a squad of riot police. And that's where all these uh, military guys are going to get hired into as soon as they come back from their tour. Because how many of them are, do you think really want to continue on in military service? Well, probably not a whole lot, but they're so used to this, used to, they're so used, um, to the... And people saying, you need to go here and do this. Okay, and uh, so the obvious place to do that would be in some kind of police action, you know, because you still get the uniform, <laughs> you still get orders, anyway, and uh, as opposed to sending them all to EMT training, <laughs> you know, like, I think everyone should like, it should be mandatory EMT training. Yeah, there you turn 17, bam, and all of a sudden you have to become an EMT for the next two years and you graduate when you're 19. You know how much better high school sports would be with 19-year-olds in it? Whoo, buddy. Anyway, um, so in essence, my fear is that Obama will, in essence, declare a new draft. And then when this is done, when it comes time for election... He's going to have a whole bunch of stressed out combat engineers in a stressed out country because they have agent provocateurs obviously going around being hitmen and doing hits on people to rile up the population because stuff doesn't happen. <laughs> I'm serious. Every, everybody, like all the drug world and stuff, the reason you don't hear about that is because they're fat. The drug world is fat. You, you're not reading about crazy tweakers, right? You're reading about experimental drugs because people are like, wow, we got all the drugs we want, we're going to do other drugs.
like crocodile, you know? She was like, oh, I want to turn myself into a crocodile and a cannibal. Yay! <laughs> Nobody wants to do that. I mean, except for people that get hooked on it unintentionally. But it's not because they're not turning to other drugs because the other drugs are not lucrative. The other drugs are obviously lucrative. Plus, everyone that was ever on a drug is now apparently on opium. Because, and then that's why when he pulls out the troops from Afghanistan, opium prices are going to jump in America and all these people are going to be needing the medical attention. Because only the government can give it to them. And then they'll send those 40,000 new troops, not to Ukraine. Nope. <laughs> or maybe they will. And Ukraine will go over and take over the poppy fields. Be like, hey, let's make you instantly rich and screwed up. And you can be the port for uh, getting uh, opium into Russia and really destabilizing them. Anyway, time to chop some wood. May God nod toward thee do well.